Okay, so today we're doing a max test with John. Uh, during the max test, what we find is the maximal consumption of oxygen during exercise. This allows us to set the boundary between the intensity domains at the upper end of the spectrum and really allows us to guide training decisions in terms of where we put our effort and focus as we move John towards the classics races coming up. So the test itself compromises of an incremental ramp of intensity, working from a sub-maximal intensity domain and then ramping up each minute towards a maximal. During that time, we have online gas analyzer, which will then look at the oxygen consumption during exercise. And from that, we can look at when we determine a plateau, which we define as VO2 max. We also get some other data out of there as well, which we're looking at long-term with a team. So things such as uh, economy of exercise, and trying to relate that to our strategic plan towards the classics races. So John, what do you think of that no system? What have you heard about it? I think it's uh, something, uh, yeah, game changing. Uh, what can help us really to perform on a completely different level on uh, cobblestones and uh, can yeah, seriously can bring us to a completely another level. You're looking forward to trying it out? Yes, absolutely. I mean, uh, it's something uh, what is uh, developed and planned already for such a long time and uh, it would be great to, yeah, to ride it and uh, try it out. I just wanted to get everybody together because for sure, this op the open we know opening weekend is what many of us see as the start, the real start of the season. I know we've done some races already. We've had Saudi, uh, Gaza, and UAE. Now we did Oman with some of you guys last week. Um, some of the stuff we've seen at that race, those races, was fucking really good. I think when we start opening weekend in a really good way, as a as a unit, as a team, just in the way we go about our outlook in the way we go about things then it'll set the ball rolling for what we do in the the races coming whether it's Paris Nice whether it's Terreno and then also the other classics and so I really wanted to just get all the guys who were racing this weekend together and so we could have like a little bit of a discussion about it and also just start to set the scene how nervous is the opening weekend from Scala 0 to 10 Definitely in nine. It's uh, definitely one of the most nervous uh, races of the year. Cold weather in the classics is very demanding and uh, you have to be strong in the head as well. And uh, obviously with, uh, with good clothing, uh, you never have bad weather. A long time without uh, many spectators and uh, I think now they, they all can, can be there again. and. Uh, cheer for us and uh, enjoy yeah the religion of cycling in belgium uh yeah you're excited adrenaline uh and uh yeah you just get on with it follow the bunch yeah yes i look really forward to tomorrow is uh, my first race and uh, i'm uh, very excited it's been a long time without racing and uh, a lot of training kilometers in the legs so I I want to see where I'm standing. You're ready. I'm excited, looking forward, finally racing again. Can't wait. The first bike race of the season. I'm really looking forward to race as a team and uh, the goal really has to be to to make to make it a good race and uh, no matter what 
result at the end of the day is there, but we we have to raise as a team, and uh, that's uh, yeah. that's what the uh, the the goal, the target is for tomorrow, and uh, let's do this. We fucking race to the line, yeah. We don't give up on the opportunity that we might get something for the race until it's dead in the water, yeah. We have to be ready for that fight. We have to be ready to go and pick that fight, yeah. Let's get into it. Let's have a story when we finish tomorrow. So this morning, unfortunately, uh, Neil's um, made a positive uh, test. With, um, we did a self-test, everybody in the team did a self-test this morning just, um, to check and unfortunately yeah, Neil's showed a positive test so um, yeah, as per the protocols, we, come, we isolated him directly and uh, he doesn't start in the race. Unfortunately, real shame um, because uh, after such a good training block in uh, Tenerife, he's really, really motivated I think but um, as we know things can be tricky with us so uh, yeah. We just regroup and then uh, we look after Niels' health and uh, we continue with the race. Normally we had uh, Niels and John as, uh, as co-leaders, so uh, in some ways it's also simplified things because John will be the, the lone leader now. We continue with the race plan as we are, we just maybe have one guy less and uh, yeah, we just play our cards accordingly, knowing that we have six guys, not seven, but in, we still go for the win. We still go uh, with the aggressive race plan and uh, yeah, we see what happens. I'm on fire. Ich bin on fire. That's what I call the fast start of the season. First race, first classic of the season. It's been uh, it's been very uh, very tough, uh, and uh, it was a fast race because the breakaway was. Uh, Got a big gap and uh, the peloton had to chase uh, really hard from, from early on already. Yeah, the shape is not is not bad, but we, I mean, I think I, I need these intens intensities now to get better and better day by day. And uh, it was not a bad start of the season, I can say. We're still there. Back. We're still in the six Come on, Seren, this is fucking good. Come on. Come on, Seren, come on. Yeah. They'll all look at each other. Come on, Seren, come on. All the way, all the way, come on, mate, come on. Really good work, really good, Seren, really good. Guys, well done. Seventh there for Seren. He launched his attack on the Poggio. Didn't quite come off, but that was a really good effort. Really good effort. Well done, Seren. Well done, boys. Yeah, I think we, we set out with a very clear plan and that was to bring Surin into the final, he's the suppressor and then into the Poggio as fresh as possible. Um, we really looked after him all day, held him in good position and then obviously the peloton went full gas on the suppressor. Perfect situation for us with just kind of 25 guys left there in the front and Surin on the Poggio made a big attack. There's only three, three guys to follow, three of the best guys in the world and kind of came back together then and I was really proud of the commitment that all the lads showed to bring him into that position. It was a real team effort, but also a fantastic effort to keep going all the way to the line. And I think we can be really happy with that seventh place. Okay. So. I'm going to be done again. Two gels for soon. Yeah. Come on, mate. You need to smell this out now. Come on. This is still doable. When it's less than 20 seconds, it's closable for you. Come on. Right, gentlemen, thanks for coming. As you can see, uh, I think we already know we are six. Casper is uh, not uh, here, he's sick bay. So that's. Uh, so it's clear already that we'll start with six bike riders. Uh, headlines in terms of race rolls. We tried to do a final with Sir. 
we saw in the in the last weeks what the level is with CERN. For sure capable of like being a guy in the deep final going for the win in the virus. Let's really, really push in those key moments. So let's just uh, let's give let's create that opportunity for ourselves. Good morning. I, uh, I think you might know why I'm calling. Um, so I just had a call with Camille. I also just tried to call Rudy. But um, Camille saying that Surin's uh, fever has continued in the night. Camille's recommendation is that he doesn't, he doesn't race because he thinks it's going to it'll make it'll develop more and then it's a risk for the coming, uh, coming races. I wanted to speak to you guys first because uh, just so that we're all on the same page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's clear then as well. No worries. Then I'm, uh, I'm gonna try and get hold of uh, the guys, and then uh, yeah, we we'll try and see where we go. Cool. All right. No worries. Thanks, mate. I'll speak to you. Yo. How are we doing? I'm okay. Yeah, I just spoke to. I didn't have the perfect night, so that's a bit. Yeah, I told Camille. Worse, I think uh, he, the the feedback he gave me was clearly developing a fever. Yeah. Um, so I just spoke to Marlu, some performance team, and I think I think we don't start today. If we're smart now and look and look after you now. Yeah. And then manage the next few days. Yeah. Then you can recover quickly and and bounce back quickly. Okay. If we try and do something today, then I think. Uh, yeah. I think we just. That's also what made me a bit afraid that Camille said, "Yeah, he was almost 100 percent sure." He said, "You will feel it worse." Exactly. After. Yeah. Because now I'm still like I'm not sick, sick, <coughs> and I think uh, yeah. that's a good sign for the coming races. But if I yeah race and then tomorrow I'm completely fucked. Yeah, then hard decision. But uh, yeah. It is, but uh, I think you have to t help. The most important thing. My experience thing, also yeah. sa says I think. Yeah. It's shit right now, but yeah. it will be the right decision. I, I think, think so, yeah. Pretty sure. Okay, gentlemen, we are five today, as we know. Yeah, yeah, good. And it's also nice for Nicholas to practice his counting. Um, pretty soon, by the end of the season, I hope he can count to ten. But there's no race with ten. One, two, three. Yeah, I know, but it's also good for the max. We give our focus to Dega now. And um, the principle is still the same, though, yeah? Just be super, super tight. Just be super tight together. Did some real good stuff in Ghent, in uh, Dwar's door. Let's continue that. I really would like to ask everyone to, to be attentive from the start. I mean, uh, these, like, you three guys, uh, I think you really can uh, work well together and uh, you have to, uh, to kind of rotate to, uh, yeah, share the work and, uh, and uh, don't, waste uh, unnecessary energy but uh, just uh, just be there and uh, and cover the moves everything is possible in this race I did Ronde from Flanders 11 times and I think today was the very first time I did the Quaramont, the second part of Quaramont, uh, all the three times on the big chain ring and I'm one of the last. Thank you man, thank sure. you. Yeah, 
we set out with a plan just to be really solid around John and uh, really support him in the early part of the race. We wanted to try and be in the early break just to have somebody up the road. We actually didn't manage to do that, so that was a little bit disappointing. But um, after that, we were really solid around John with the positioning. It's super important that we came into that first Quaramont in a really good spot. In the end, I think uh, we did a good job with, with that. Um, we were there, we just couldn't quite make the front group. But um, I think we were there in the final 15, top 20 at the end of the race. So that, to me, says they've done a good job together as a unit. Hey, young man! <laughs> Done. You're a little bit wide in the face. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's a day out, isn't it? Good job, mate. Oh, fuck, I hate my life. <laughs>
The amount of times system allows the rider to inflate and deflate the tire depends on different circumstances. For example, on the cobbles, the system would allow us to inflate and deflate around five times. That's John's song. It's Johnny Blue. <laughs> We have a sign on in what half an hour, just under half an hour now. So, like I said last night in the meeting, I just want us we'll just have a quick recap now. A reminder on the I think the headline key points, yeah. Obviously, we go for John today. Everything we do about what we do is about making the steps and the right decisions to bring John with support into the back end of the race, yeah? Uh, like I said yesterday, I do believe with the group we have here and with the condition of John and the motivation, we can do a really, really good race. We don't need to talk about results. We take the steps and we do what we need to do. When we do that, we'll have a good day out. Like, I'm super excited about this race and I think we've got a good day for it as well. So let's really, when we get to the start line, be ready to go for this bike race. Let's go out and uh, and do it and uh, yeah, smash it. I broke my wheel in arm back. Yeah, I was in the I was in the front with the Mohorish. Then I had to change, but there was no service because there was not more space. So then I had a neutral service, and then I was in between. And also the neutral service has not the same tires like we have, so. And in the end, I just died. The lights went out. I wouldn't say only enjoyment. It was also uh, some pain. Oh, fuck. Look at this. Harry Bay never disappoints, that's for sure. And um, we actually uh, did quite a good uh, race uh, from the beginning on. The only thing we could have done better is uh, that I personally missed uh, that big split in the beginning. Uh, but uh, we were with uh, Nikias, with uh, Nico, with uh, Kasper, and with uh, Joris uh, in that big split, uh, which uh, made their lives uh, a lot easier than. Uh, there were guys uh, chasing back in the peloton, including me, obviously. But uh, um, yeah, when the situation was like this, I, I never really panicked, and uh, that was uh, 
it was good. When uh, the race really opened on uh, on Oshi, I unfortunately didn't have the legs anymore to to go with yeah, the best ten guys. Let's say I have actually no regrets. I mean, uh, I did a I did a good race and uh, finished it off on a on a good race. Still so another solid top twenty. Nothing nothing special, but uh, yeah, I I really love this race and uh, finishing here in a in a good group in front is uh, is amazing and. Um, yeah, it's uh, another day uh, to remember for sure.